Orlando has brought in a curse oh, card to contain, uh, something. flaming elemental that you released into this bar full of crowded people. Listen, right? I did not release the flame elemental. Oh, I I'm was sorry. Picked, and it was a bad pick. Okay. Um, release is a bad word. Maybe I should say you have brought, me. I brought it there. Yes. I, I gave you two gifts and you've used them against each other. Brought, gave birth to, <laughs> conceived. You are the hair bringer of this torch. Uh, Orin, <laughs> go ahead as the, I guess, new father of this group. Probably in a barrel it's your turn. behavior and probably in a barrel ship. Yeah, release was a bad word. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. Jill Hannah hit it with a regular axe. Tegan went to wash out a bucket. Sage uh, got Gilana out of there and then teleported, leaving. Why I guess the shop to owner to be with like that. Uh, Why do you have to make it so like I'm just doing laundry? <laughs> <laughs> as you send me, as you start to send Mr. Meaty around the bar to start healing, she actually like taps your shoulder and then like grabs Mr. Meaty and then she puts a coin sack on the table. And he says, healing, uh, silver, line up, a silver each, for each limb. Wow. <laughs> Krabina is sitting there with her legs on the table, uh, just leaning back as people line up to heal. If uh, there's a, the ball is in your guys' court now, if there's anything you want to do. All right. So oh, while sorry. while everybody is paying, sorry, um, while everybody is paying, and Krabina has been healed, um, Gil Hanna offers her the five more gold plus no more hugs plus no more hugs. And actually, she gives her the 15. That's fine for the trouble that she just caused on accidentally and the 10 to secure the secure the ground in the place that they were discussing. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So and they it, are currently beached. Uh, luckily for the ground, they're not so far out to sea as to get, be getting most of the salt water. So the boat is currently near where the river offshoots into the sea uh, and where a lot of the swamp and marshes. So the ground should be fine, maybe? She doesn't know what you guys are storing there, so he, he, maybe. Uh, so you guys doing anything here at this place or mm. do you want to move on? Yeah, let's head back. Let's try and head back. Yeah, I'd say we'll move Just on. to go get that feather and then we can do with Grung after. I oh, yeah, before Gilhanna does that, Gil Gilhanna runs behind the bar and she takes up a pickle jar. Okay. With pickle juice and pickles. Um, uh, Gil, um, you see Krabina if, if, about if she's to stop serious, you, then she, look, she looks down at the amount of gold and you see her eyes just like, Hmm. And she she kind of just fans it up. What you do with the, What you want the pickle jar to do? Um, <laughs> so I see, her, I see her with the jar, and I grab the jar from her hand. Y'all gonna have to roll against each other. To, to yeah, that. thank you. Um, what am I rolling? Strength. Uh, slight a hand or a strength, either of you. Wait, y'all fighting right. over I'm a pickle slight, jar? I'm a just slight yeah. hand. One d twenty. Do you put it past them at this point? Yeah. 1d20, both of you. I oh, think Ari is it. still raging. Fucking three. Really? You both got three. Oh. And Ari got a natural 20. <laughs> like, it's the one thing I'm supposed to be good at, but I've never rolled on good sleight of hand. You, you're not supposed to be good at sleight of hand. Well, you are. I mean, you're He's an urchin. Oh, you're, you're, and you're an urchin. Um, um, this is literally like taking candy from an urchin baby, Orin. You basically just handed the jar to Orin, Gilhana. Yes! Um, 
Because like, this is that thing when you find thing in an, an early Link video game where you hold it over your head and Arne is just like, all right, thanks. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Johanna, <laughs> Johanna holds her arms out in the come at me bro fashion and slowly backs up and then jumps out the window. <laughs> Arne, what are you doing with this jar? I get the jar from her and I smash it on my head. No more. <laughs> You okay. had a jump out the window. It, you I'm had a jump out the same window that the fire elemental was slapped out of. <laughs> All right, and I'm just here, do? like drying the mop because I just finished the mopping, and I'm like, just like. Did this motherfucker just break pickle juice on the floor on my freshly mopped floor? Oh, um, Krabina Arin does look at you and just like rubs her hands together and points to the coin bag. That's two copper. Five. I oh, 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 I see. Okay, all right. So I I start to back up with the come at me, bro, motion of my hands, and I <laughs> chuck through the window. Yeah. Actually, you're going to have to roll a I'm just like... You're a big man. <laughs> yeah, a big man who's still... Well, and I'm just... Well, well... And I just, I just, I just quickly athletes. mop the area where he smashed the pickles and put Wait, two copper I, down I, 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 and just walk out. I don't, I don't think I have advantage on that, but I wrote 12 for both, and that's a 12 plus. But you can drop on your head for all my business. You're fine. You're half <laughs> stuck in the window, Aaron. With that 12, you are halfway ass stuck no. in this window. No, oh. no, no. That's right. a 12 plus um, 5. That's 17, sir. Oh, plus 5. Okay. Graceful, you get sir. your ass stuck in this window, but then, like, with your hand, you just. <laughs> And get your feet out, and you. I got to see that. Oh, oh, so, <laughs> your hand so is down a bit, and Tigan is just looking out the window. <laughs> and she, but, uh, yeah, so I, I'm just gonna clean that mess up real quick. Put two copper on the thing, and also just freaking walk out. Oh, I don't man. know. Oh, Abina shakes her set, head and is like, somehow not the worst guest since night. <laughs> 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 all right um what do you call it? I, i'm a, i'm assuming i'm assuming big guy is, is going to try and stop me so i'm i am he is he faster than i am or am i faster than he is you are slow you have tiny legs you have 12.5 movement bro i'm pretty so, fast now you have 12.5 feet of movement galana in water uh, but you're the only one who knows where it's where it exactly. fell, right? Simple, just follow her. What? You don't have well. Oh, oh wait, that's right. Again. It's night. It's it night time, right? It is. He can't see me. Oh, it's night time. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, I'm just rolling oh, to see how okay. moonlit the sea is. Fifty-two south of moonlit. You can kind of glint and make out where she's swimming, but you would definitely can't see the torch. It's perfectly fine. I'll just follow the, the dwarf girl that's swimming in the water. Yeah. And do you no, actually one, want I'm anything, just... Orlando? Johanna swims to where the torch is, ties yeah. a grappling hook to anchor it where it is, and then pops up somewhere else where Aaron can't find where the torch is. She's coming back for it later. I'm faster. Okay. So she just wants to keep it in place. So wait, where, where, where are they away from Sage right now? Uh, you're on the boat. They're about like twenty feet off. She, Gilana is like twenty feet off in the water. I'm just, I'm just thinking. Like, do I want to waste a spell slot on this? Do I? No. How far? How far is he from the torch? Uh, you wouldn't be able know. to really tell. Yeah, you weren't able to tell where the torch was because you're all the little number. No, no, yeah, maybe no. Tegan. So, like, say that to Tegan because Tegan. Well, that, that's better than what Sage has. Tegan, do, do you Impulse see how? Do you know how far he is from that torch? I can't really see very well where they are from this distance, but it's definitely in points in that general direction. Not torch in that general direction, direction of the entire. But, and like, what, what, how? What, what is the like be a vague distance of where she's pointing? Uh, twenty feet, twenty-five feet ish. That and is how, very specific. She can't she see, 20, they can't see you. They can't, so far, she can't hear you that. just splashing around in the water. 
That is true. How far is Gilhanna from that we point that she pointed? We've got, we got like, like a tiny little oh, thing wait. of a freaking Goliath chasing her. Like, I'm we giving can you the hear on Gilhanna. Oh, no, I'm asking because because she saw where it fell. She kind of saw where it fell in. I heard where so it I asked, fell. I, I yeah, she heard. So okay, that's what I'm investigation. Anybody looking for this thing? All right. Uh, As well. Rolling. Jesus. Uh, so that, that is... Uh, oh, even, you're, even you're looking for it? That's also, uh, right. also 10. Damn Kegan, it. Disadvantage. I keep on forgetting. Damn it. Okay. Yep, never mind. <laughs> Hold yeah. on. Investigation. In darkness, you guys don't know where this thing is. Hold on. Gotcha. Can I see it? Uh, Can I see it? You know, you know like, you know that one, that one yeah, picture with the, in, with the rat in New York running all with his slice of pizza? That's what I feel like right now. It's like, <laughs> oh, it's my treasure. Nobody can take it away from me. Why is it that the two times I roll in 18, it's with disadvantage, so they don't matter? I hate it here. <laughs> All right, maybe let's go somewhere else before you burn this place down. Uh, so you yeah. guys yeah. tell the ground where you said there was a place that they dumped fish heads, right? Fish heads. Uh, it's, not, it's, not, not, it's, not, it's not far off from the cabin and barrel. It's kind of like this little sand, this, what do you call it? A sandbar? Yeah. That's, close to, the, to that's bar? close to the. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> I assume so. It's a <laughs> so it's, it's not really a sandbar it. that's close to the cabin a barrel. Um, during high tide, it becomes an island, but during low tide, um, there's a walking path there, so they usually walk there and throw the fish heads. Interesting. Um, I'm just googling real quick how well frogs do in sea water. I mean, like I would imagine that not very well. Time, but honestly. You did ask me, and I forgot to Google it. Um, I'm going to assume that instead of sandbar, you said mud bar, and this is slightly Figuring different out. somehow. Sure. Well, uh, technically, I, technically speaking, we are at an estuary, which is where uh, the river meets the. Oh sandbar. no, you were so at an estuary about a few miles away. But I'll make another estuary. Guess what? I get to do that. I'm the DM. Yeah. There's another the one, the so, can, 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 we, can we do a scene? Can you do a descriptive scene of the scenery around us just like morphing itself? <laughs> oh, you I see this sandbar. Uh, you remember it being a sandbar, Gilana. You know every nook and cranny of the city, but all of a sudden, it seems that this, the river in all the rains of recent years has washed down the swamp even further down to where the sea would be. And now there's just this muddy freshwater estuary where a sandbar used to be. Nice. World building. World building. Literally. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, literal world building. All right. So you guys leave uh, the crab in a barrel and its location still floating. On a cool with that, or no more. Come back, come see if there's a plug that you know, can just plug out and see. No, it. we're going. Okay. Home, thanks. <laughs> So we are heading, I guess, to the whole hospital. Or you guys want to make any stops before that? Uh, Do we need any? I don't think we need any. The hotel, hotel, holiday. Perhaps we should go save this child you guys have neglected to tell me about, but I have heard mention of him in your conversations. There's like child and. Yes. That's not uh, true. Didn't we, didn't we, didn't we, like, briefly say one sentence that that's why we were going into, um, Sadaba? <laughs> yeah, when you guys so. just met. Yeah. That's why we just met, so it was a while ago. Yeah. Though, I mean, when you think like about it, it's yeah. only been a couple, like, a day or two. Exactly. <laughs> it's been that long. <laughs> it's oh, no. been one day. It has been Basically. two nightfalls. It's been two nightfalls, nightfalls and Oren feels like he's been with us forever, and it's fantastic. That's we love it. We fit right uh, in. I'm sorry we couldn't be, bury the rest of your friends, though. Like, Sucks. It feels like we. It feels like we've been together as long as five minutes on Namek. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's, been a, it's been a real yeah. Namekian minute with us. With it's us. Only like Namekian minutes. Episodes episode until Namek right right explodes. <laughs> All right, so you guys arrive at the door of the Hope Hospital. Who's going in? Beautiful. I am running in. 
Okay. I'm uh, running in. Just with the feather. Oh, I am head. back. I have feather help. Let's go. All right. I have found feather and babe. I have feather. I, no, I found, I I'll just found call feather. all of my I colleagues, especially the one who's been communicating with me. Like, I'm yeah. just like, Ugh. what time is it, by the way? It is like. Ah. Yeah, so one thing, one thing first. I walk up to Sage and I'm like, ah, wizard. I'm impressed by your destructive power, and I would definitely love to adventure with you again someday. I give you one of my party sending stones. Ah, it is see. still it, it is still smeared in blood. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's okay. Sage literally looks at it in your hand and casts its press digitation to clean it. Hey. Um, <laughs> It's just, and yeah. <laughs> you Hannah feeling real huggy right now. <laughs> I know. Sage takes, I take, hugs. Sage I takes hugs. it. Oh, sorry. I need what? hugs the most, but okay. I need to go deal with this child first. Sage takes okay. 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 Cuddle without. I was going to say, Sage, Sage takes it feeling a kinship or a broship <laughs> with this barbarian. And he says that yes. He's just like yeah. Just says like we shall shall adventure again. Undoubtedly, good chap. So the sending stone basically gives you a one day, uh, twenty five word conversation. Um, mm -hmm. You you get to send a twenty five word message and get a twenty five word response uh, with the hold of the stone. All right. So back at the to my inventory. So oh and uh, uh, the couples I guess are just going like take out one goal at the end at some point, but. Uh, Gilhana, mark off 16 gold off your inventory. 15. I don't have 16 gold. Oh, you mean the one that I gave Krabina? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, back at the whole hospital, you guys meet Gloria. Uh, you, of course, look different from when you left. Tegan, you have scars and burn marks. Sage, you're covered in runes. Gilhana, you look more lithe and dexterous. And uh, you're covered with leopard hides and assorted trophies. Orin, you're here. And <laughs> Floria greets you at the door, Tegan. <laughs> and says, Tegan, you made it. Wow, you look so different. I love what you did with your hair. When did you have wow, time geez, to stop at the salon? <laughs> I almost lost my ears to get this haircut, but thanks. I'm so Let's right. go deal with the child. <laughs> You know, Hannah just looks at her haircut and be like, ah, oh, uh, you know, in a moving boat at the, the it, it was nighttime, wasn't it? It was. It, it was. It was yeah. in, in a moving boat at nighttime, and here she is posting John was lost the hair. <laughs> magic scissors. <laughs> and who, what, GF, what is, what that? The initials right we'll here talk, in your. We'll talk about that afterwards we can talk about that at the temple or something let's go i have a yeah. feather given how Ooh, given how chill you we are we almost died Claudia. from multiple times yes so let's go deal with our patient yeah but like Sage, right like, the stage looks says one literally walks up to her and just like given how chill you are obviously the child is still alive oh so. yes yes we are very grateful <laughs> he's still alive he held on we're so thankful tegan uh this was an impossible quest it's amazing that you were able to pull it off You've certainly become a better character. Oh, he cough. Gilhana is like very curious as to if she knew the impossibility of a, of the quest. Why didn't she? You know, why did she send tea that of all people? I'm, I'm you want to ask? Uh, no, I, I just no, want, I ask. Don't no, I uh, look at her at I look over at Gilly and see that she wants to say something like. <laughs> no, it's okay, Gilly. Say whatever you need to say. I'm going to be prepping to, to, to be so with you. So, Gilhanna asks, Gilhanna asks, like, you knew how impossible this quest was. So, what made you think that a bunch of ran ragtag, random put together, wait, where is Gold? Where is Gold? Sorry. I, I, He's I not here as yet. Where uh, gold I, I, oh, oh, Alexander is in the other room, so we can't speak quietly. Uh, Aloysius Gold Petal left uh, a few hours ago. He should return. I, I told him I'd call him when you guys returned. Yes. So why did you send a ragtag, put, just randomly put together team to go and find this impossibly hard to find item? Listen, it was a small chance, but it was the best we could do. I, I, 
I mean, I certainly couldn't leave. I needed to keep young Gold Petal alive and none of the other nurses are as worldly as Tegan or fit for adventuring as Tegan. And she performed marvelously, wouldn't you say? And with a range of such as yourself. That is wearing chain mail and heavy armor. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I would like to pause. Like, what I is finally Claudia? put my shield away. Because I, of course, I have, I have my shield is finally down. Floria is a half elf Floria. cleric. Floria is a half, half what? Half elf cleric. What kind of cleric? Uh, same life Probably, domain. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is she hot? Sorry, was that a question? Is she hot? <laughs> She's uh, hot. It's fantasy, uh, dog. Let's roll. Roll hotness. Roll for hot girl. This is my hot girl mechanic. I oh, roll hot a hot character mechanic to see how hot each character is. I should have a roll character. No, you know what? Look, it, yeah. whether it, it doesn't matter. Oh. oh, it should be a d20 because with a 38. A okay, a d20. Okay, fine. That's fine because with a 38. You know what? She doesn't have to be hot. You know what? 38 and we're keeping it. She is a homely woman. Uh, uh, she, oh. she, she's also a half elf, so she doesn't have nearly as much meat on her but as I do. Are, 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 are half of elves them like normally super attractive, and people are very yeah, easy she is to attractive okay, in her so own. She's, 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 she's not aesthetically. Uh, um, she's not aesthetically gifted. Doesn't mean that she doesn't put herself. Together, I still got more meat together. on my bones than her, though. <laughs> I mean, a, a 38 for a half elf is probably like a, a 50 something for a human, so he's about average. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's average. she's she is the shunned, the shunned outcast of half elves, but she's still incredibly beautiful. <laughs> Guys, I actually made a miniature for her. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, let's see it. Let's see. Let's see what my co worker. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. oh that, she is a 38. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, she's really small. Tiny. No, this is just how your Forge makes the miniatures. So yeah, Homely Woman, no, Flat no, Shoes. No, put, put mine up next to it. Let's dress. just compare. <laughs> flat Shoes, a simple dress. Uh, her hair up in a little bun. Uh, put mine you? next to it. We shall compare beauty. It's not a competition, Tegan, but of course I'm bringing up yours immediately. Of course. I, don't know, I think Tegan is. I don't know. What do you guys think? I actually have yeah. the new Tegan, so I might just put drop her, that new like Tegan. I, I, yeah, I put her as like she's like a five out of ten. Oh, she's Tegan? like there. Yeah, she's average. No, Tegan's hot. Tegan's hot. Wait, that picks it. M I L F. All right. Um. She's like she's like she's a she's a self. I, I, Cleric. Well, and like, anyway, so, yeah. Floria, <laughs> so Floria says, Antigua and I love the pixie cut. It's so amazing. But if you will excuse me for a second, I just need to give Mr. Gold Petal a call. And uh, she. Should we try and see yeah. the work first before you raise the man hopes? No, uh, well, just, I'm, I'm certain it will work. It, with the hardest part is done. Uh, so yeah. she does the thing to send the message you see her do that whole professor xavier hand to the hat side of her head thing and oh uh, wait i would like can, to can 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 the, the 90s x-men show music like play while she's doing it <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if i have copyright but I mean, let's say it does <laughs> we'll do like i don't know you, you, we hear, could do a you, hear, a next, you hear a bard in the next oh, room <laughs> <laughs> Like you know, I also like to mention that um, when we when 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 we went to where we went to, there was no coatl, but from what we were able to decipher from books, well, what, from what Sage was able to decipher from books, this should be a coatl feather. Oh, that's amazing! Oh, yeah, I, I, I also right had an extra point. feather just in case they muck up the first one. I did oh, ask. That's lovely. Ah, uh, I'm uh, not gonna tell them that though. Okay, okay, okay. We'll see. Yeah, I was if we can get the first one to work, and if somehow they muck it up, I will just pull out the spare feather and say, "Please right. don't muck it up." Oh, um, oh look, this one on. random attached to me somehow. Hmm. <laughs> Gilhana, um, she does congratulate the ranger who was able to 
navigate them through the forest. And the researcher, <laughs> the sage who was able to tell them exactly where it is. And uh, you, I guess you are higher security? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. I am Orin Kawagigo, the lion goliath of this merry band here, yes. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Uh, in my life, towards the end, like, a lot. So he's, he's been great. I'm sure. And he said, she sends a message. Uh, yes, Mr. Goldpetal. They've returned. They were successful. Isn't it great? You, you can come post haste. And uh, he, she, a few minutes pass after she does that. And you see a lighting from the sky a few minutes later. Uh, Pegasi lands down uh, with Mr. Goldpetal at the back of it. The Pegasi flying horse. Uh, Aloysius Goldpetal. Skull... Yeah. Oh, damn. I guess yeah, like look at that ride. God damn, man's is rich. Does, does, oh my god, does it does it have suicide wings? Like he just like uh, <laughs> yep. uh, in kamikaze horse. Mm. Wow. And he comes up to you and says, This is quite literally, this is amazing. Uh I didn't think you'd actually save my child. It is Oh, I mean, we haven't really, as yeah. I, uh, hi, ho. You, you only took 10 years, but you're here. <laughs> yeah, uh, all we were able to do is get the feather. Now we just have to hope that everything goes smoothly from here. Listen, Obin, you've done your best. Uh, she takes out uh, 500 gold and puts it to the table of the hospital, and he's like, now I do believe in rewarding the efforts of those who go above and beyond. Uh, I mean, the hospital has already been compensated, but I'm going to reward you. Uh, and he takes out a notepad and writes a similar checks to the ones before. A uh, hundred each to the three of you. And nice. then he looks Ooh. over at Orin. Did this, did this young man help in any way? Is he with you? Travel yes. very much. Yes, he uh, was, he was and invaluable. And then, and then Ar Arin is just in the back, like as small as possible. His big self is as small as possible. Oh. The nicest looking eyes ever, you know. Just... Who, who should I make it out to? We should what? Is Arin smart and, and he... his own name? Wait, wait, so he's not, talk he's, talk he's not talking to them like... He's talking to you, Arin. Who should I make it out also... to? All right, then I pop back up. Ah, yes. Orin Kalagigo. Okay, um, I'm going to ask you to spell that for me, obviously. Uh, do you know how to write? Do you know, do you know what pens are? Pen? Uh, he puts the pen in there. One, 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 sec one second, sir. As I reach back and I pull out a name card with my name <laughs> and, uh, and I show him, there you go. Okay, that's uh, fine. Good old chap. And he writes you a check also for 100 gold. Hold on. Um, yeah, Wait, so uh, be before, yeah. before Mr. Goldfinger goes in to reunite with his son, um, Johanna walks I also up. thank him profusely. Johanna yeah, yeah. Um, calls for his attention. She walks up to... Just do it in character, yeah. Um, Johanna walks up to Tegan and lifts up her sleeve showing the burnt scars. She walks up she walks up to Sage, shows the big old, the scar from where that big old hole was in his leg. And then she explains to him, she shows wait, him the wait, bite wait, wait, mark. Wait. She, she could also walk up to me and just show any of my hundred scars because I always have scars, so. Yeah, yeah but you came, you came in the last part of the journey. We're talking about what happened on our way there. Yes. Johanna shows her the, shows him the big old bite mark on her abdomen from where the evil killed her four times. And she says that, you know, I as a as a person who's who's normally greedy, I don't think I'd be asking too much. If you could maybe throw fifty gold extra onto this check, considering um, what we had to go through to get it. For a bit of context, uh, there are some farmers who uh, this is just D and D context. There's some farmers who are, like work a year to get like one gold, or may never see a gold in their life. Uh, Tegan, for instance, as a, a descendant of uh, her parents being uh, actual literal slaves, literal slaves uh, would not even see a gold in their lifetime. So to get a hundred of it is like 
I know. Like, I am completely I'm going to allow you to roll persuasion, but just bear in mind that it is. I am talking about, I'm talking about market prices. Like, it, the, how the things are priced at the market, it make it look like the boy, five gold is like you know, nothing. Like, a, like, I can't even buy a patty. You said five gold is nothing, and he's like, five gold is nothing. You have, this is actually 20 times of five gold, if you understand. <laughs> Just imagine five gold. Okay, let me take five gold. He's a real. Me... Oh my god, this is the this is the most Asian rich man I have ever heard. <laughs> he puts five gold out on the coin, and you see five. How, hold your fingers up. Do you still have all of them? Perfect. Not such a hard journey. Five. So this is twenty of those. I rolled a nine. Can, I rolled. Can, I rolled a can, ten. Wait, minus hold, minus hold on, minus. hold on. Sage is going to assist with this oh. roll. <laughs> Uh, what do you say to us? Is you're going to actually have I'm to I'm just like, like um, aren't there scars enough? Uh, be like two assistants. Um, hold on, give me give me one second to come up with something. Um, he's putting his pen back in his pocket, as you think. Hmm. Oh, is this in real time? Is this yes, in real time? Up his checkbook. Jesus. <laughs> Fine, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Goldpetal, I will implore you that, of course. While we appreciate your generosity, we as a party were not adventurers. We were not prepared for this in any way, and we have died, nearly died, on numerous occasions. We have been to hell and back. And I can assure you that if you ever need someone to go out uh, for a journey like this again, we will need to be properly compensated in order to take that risk upon with you again. And, I, and a man of your status, of course, should have plenty of uses for a gang like us. So... Good point, old bean. Uh, Gilana, you can roll with advantage. Use the G word. Do I, roll, do I roll two more or do I roll one more? One more. Make it oh, good. Make it. Two! <laughs> so, ten, ten, so ten is the highest. So ten good. is the highest. Uh, oh, no. Let me make it fair. I'm just going to roll against you. 15, of course, the mandatory good game rolls. He says, uh, listen, you've earned this check fair and square. Now, you look like, you look like a very well-read tab tabaxi? Tabaxi, yes. You look very well-read. Uh, you understand that these aren't handouts. You've been rewarded and compensated for your journey. The next time I do have need of you, of course, of course, you'd be duly compensated. That is if I do have need of you. But if you will excuse me, my child is gravely ill. While while you, he's speaking, while he's speaking, I want to do a thing where like Sage has his hands behind his back, like he's <laughs> in a very proper position. But behind, though, but behind his back, he's pointing a finger towards Gilhana, and he casts message. Okay. Um, and he literally tells, tells Gilhana to uh, grab that checkbook, grab that checkbook while he's um, walking Oh, away. God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Can Gil, I roll, Gil, 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 can I roll a perception check to see if I can pick up what these two are up to? Oh, yeah. How would she perceive you that? Know, I mean, I'm 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 just just she, she, she knows me by now. I've tried perception. three different times. Travel. Yeah, I, I want you to do a perception of advantage, times. especially say right. because you're going to be in this man's face talking. Exactly. Yeah. But, but yeah. I thought I told what I'm doing. His hands are behind his mouth. Yeah, but you also are moving your mouth. I have to move my mouth to 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 do message. You have to tell you. Gilana what to do. I know, but I'm just like I thought. I thought it was a telepathic. <laughs> All right, so my perception was a fifteen. So my perception was a fifteen. You oh, can all stealth against it. I Hold see on, this. Me... All right, so um, I'm just going. I'm just going to end this all right now and just say, you know, Yolanda made up with a hundred gold more than she had this morning. She's going to resist the urge to to hug this man. <laughs> uh, that would have been a very high dexterity roll to even hug him. Uh, <sighs> he pats. Uh, no, no, not even pat. Okay, he nods to you guys and says, "Okay." Good talk. Sure. I'll just say I appreciate the donation. 
to the, to the hospital. You're helping a lot of us. As Leave well. it to a cleric to show the right way for these. <laughs> yes. And he turns uh, to the room where his son is. Uh, oh, what well, he's he inside turns. hospital now, right? Yeah. I would like to, however, try to see if I can get at them gold plated horseshoes on that Pegasi. On the Pegasi? Yeah. I think I'm we may need to come back to that. Let's to dealing with the nurses I, my wounds. Can I please <laughs> I'm going to ask I'm gonna just see um can you do a roll to see if the hospital has any extra aloe vera or something <laughs> to rub on my wound? I mean I could fire it. It's a tropical hospital <laughs> and uh, you guys do a lot I of former designs. So, so I'll just say there's a aloe vera bush like hedging the little entrance of the hospital like just can bushes of aloe vera they're pretty hardy tropical can i grab orange for help because i want to need some help oh, oh. this aloe vera in, in the, in the <laughs> i bush, swear i'm not playing in the bush. Weird. my god <laughs> He, so, goes willingly. he goes willingly, of course. So um, as you grab uh, Orient's hand, Flory actually starts talking to you again and says, all right, the ritual will actually take, I'd say, a day, but I'll be able to begin shortly. Uh, and then Aloysius hears the, like, the time that it would take and says, oh, in that case, I must be off. I have some b urgent business to attend to, but I'll return by the time this is finished. Uh, so he gets on his Pegasi. I guess Gilhanna is just like circling around the thing at this point and he flies off. Uh, and then Florian, as you try to go Tegan, she holds on to your hand and says, Tegan, I've noticed you fraternizing with this tall Goliath. Uh, she's trying to get you like away from him a bit so she can talk to you privately. Uh, and she says, Tegan, there are guards here. And she points to some of the gold petal guards. Are you sure you wouldn't like to speak to one of them? I mean, yes, most of them are elves and probably wouldn't even glance your way, but that doesn't mean you can't find a good husband or wife here. For instance, I've been chatting to Richard over here. Richard is, an, is a half-elf. I mean, I'm sure like you're merely human. Or I am. Glad I'm sure he's willing to look past it, yeah. given your emotion. The difference, just, just like the difference between everyone else. While this is going on, and he's just doing this. He's just like <laughs> Richard has a well, thing for human girls. Let, that's great, great and all, but Richard and I haven't had anything outside of a very casual conversation that I've had with multiple other people. Orin and I have shared a battle bond that no amount of honeyed words will ever be able to compensate for. I mean, a battle bond is a battle bond, but Richard has probably we actually saved bond. my life. We Constant saved my thoughts. life multiple times. Okay. All and right. honestly, he's pretty cute. <laughs> she looks over. You know, my you. tastes, uh, my tastes everyone. might not necessarily be like everyone. Actually, else's. can we do a roll of them when, when she looks, looks over at him? Say, oh, Arin, don't you want what to is he doing? Man? <laughs> Arin, what is he you can doing? either do a D100 highs or lows roll to see how attractive you are, or a D20 um, raw charisma roll. Charisma. Wait, show the screen. I want to see it. Because I, I like, I don't know. Uh, my Zoom thing likes to take up my well, own charisma room, why, why would I willingly choose to be ugly? <laughs> Nobody willingly chooses. The plastic 19. surgery community amongst the barbarians is very well renowned. Hold on, the 19 was your perception. You still need to roll your thing. It was a 19 for perception to what, look at me? Well, no, 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 no. The 19 was your perception. I thought you had rolled for attractiveness already. Oh, oh, my well, perception. Prince. It's not the outside that matters to me. A natural one, Prince. Mm. Oh. A natural one. Maybe it's because Maybe it's a nat like, one in oh, her opinion. She, she, Here's she, the she, thing. She, she looks at him and her, 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 her attraction to him is immediately destroyed. <laughs> Well, can, can, exactly. Can, 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 Look, you can is subjective. I'm, I'm not, no, I can no, always say that. I don't even <laughs> accept that. No, I we, don't even accept yes, that shit. Yep. 
I don't no, accept it either. Tegan, look at him. Tegan, Tegan, look, Tegan looks at him. Tegan looks at him like expecting to be still in awestruck, like hot, like that's the new hotness. Um, yeah. and the, but now we're you know, no longer be? in battle. No, if I were no longer in battle, she, she no. properly. You know that in. should be. It shouldn't be that I'm. It should be that I not want the actual attractiveness. It should be that I not want on looking attractive in this moment by doing something really fucking stupid. <laughs> you have yes. not coming out of your nose. All right. Okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah, there we go. Just to see At the moment, you don't look good. No, worse than that, man. Worse than that. I have to be doing something just ridiculous. You're sweaty. You haven't slept. You uh, you have like red eyes not coming out of your nose. Uh, You're probably you covered, in blood. covered in blood. Probably blood. covered in you blood and burns smell, you, and stuff. You still yeah. smell of wet dog uh, and zombie because you have. Well, you did bathe since the zombie, but not since the wet dog. Uh, yeah, I did. No, I he jumped in the water. Remember? He did. Okay. Still, no, you know, said, remember he jumped in the out. water after me from a place called Crab in the Barrel where we don't fish it. Oh, it's been plenty watching to wash the dog yeah. smell away. Okay, fair. So maybe you just don't look good. At, and then that's just, just something a lot of Maybe he doesn't look good in her perspective because I've seen those pictures. Well, well, that's that's the the one one and they don't lie. <laughs> I've been able to stare at this dude does. in our worst I but I've been fine. able you to. You look alright. You look good. Okay, good. She good. just does. You, in the moment she looked at you, you just were just the worst looking. Just look like shit. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. literally came yeah, no. back from hell. Yeah. Unless you like, look, we literally just came back from hell. None of us look our best. My hair is short. I have initials on the back of it, and I have burn <laughs> marks. I'm collecting this aloe vera for. Like, it's gonna be a while. We're not oh, doing shit. great. I'm stuck. Yeah, because you did. But generally, um, yeah. You did describe. You did describe Aaron as this um, barbarian dude. So, uh, with. He's really a barbarian, but he's also for a barbarian giant. I've I've met a few in my travels in my career, and honestly, I've never met any quite as kind as him. <laughs> I mean, barbarians are generally not, like, they're pleasant enough in general, but Orin is just extra precious for All some right. reason. So the Fear of Hearts version of Orin lacks, uh, yeah, um, huge dude, stone skin, uh, but she looks up and down at him and still just takes your side of it, but why, I mean... Here's what I'll do. I'll just get Richard's address so you can send him letters. In fact, I'll I'll teach you that sending spell. You seem skilled no, enough to use it I, now. That's... I know how to use it, but I'm not interested in Richard. Okay. I don't uh, even know how I feel entirely about Orin yet. We've known each other for like two days. Good, good. That's a start. Well, so so did Romeo and Juliet. Idea, this but one. regardless. Yeah. But regardless, I can assure in my 25 years being on this planet that I've ne never quite felt a soft spot for another person before as I have. I guess I she, should be, she should be like, but he'll destroy you. I suppose Look, I know what you mean. Humans are adaptable. I will live. And if I die, I die. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I should <laughs> put that part of her head. Johanna yeah, being the only experienced person in this party was like, oh yeah, you're going to die. Well, you're also right. the youngest. It's so great. Crowdy. Okay, so she says, okay, uh, well, I think I know what you mean. Uh, speaking of which, I need to go heal this poor man. Uh, and then she whispers to you, I think we might have actually grown fond of each other on your time away. Oh. And you hear Alexander shout from the room, she's got a very nice rack of potions. She's <laughs> flat chested in the flipping model. Hold up. Oh, okay. I just like, I just like chuckle and I'm like, I believe you. And Flora's like, hush now, I must attend to your swelling. Uh, Wait, and was then it, she wasn't, just... he, wasn't he like paralyzed when he came in? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> she goes and she closes the door. To you guys, and I'm wheezing. <laughs> oh my god, 
you know I learned in this hospital. Freaking medical pillow talk. I'm done. <laughs> Gloria is a gold digger if I've ever seen one. And what better gold to dig than a gold petal? Right? Mm. Just tie that one up right there. Huh? Right there. <laughs> I was wrapped up